kind of because I've been young. Really, I, I, I don't want to actually. I have told this thing to my mom and dad because I feel like they they they, they don't have understand this stuff. problems as well and I believe I maybe can cooperate with myself but that concern about me too take care about your feelings too uh, or don't they Actually, what I'm supposed to answer the question. Do you think your parents are concerned about your feelings? Probably, but I really don't know. When's the last time you saw your parents concerned about your feelings? Maybe two, three <coughs> months, sorry. I don't know. So it's been a while since you've been the focus of attention. From your parents. Yeah. Hmm. And also you get very frustrated when people outside your parents, like school or the UN, when they don't give you attention too. I think you need to have a talk. Okay. With the parents. Okay. They're still their child. They still care. You don't have to always be the adult. You have the right to throw a tantrum every once in a while. We all do. But you're still a brother, a <coughs> sibling to your brothers and sisters. You're not an adult. You're a kid too. You are. And your parents have to see you as that. A mature kid is still a kid. A kid with feelings. A kid who wants to be listened to. A kid who wants to their parents to pay attention to them, just like kids love their parents paying attention to them. Even when the kid doesn't have anything super valuable to say, it's still important for the kid that the parents pay attention to them. You need to tell them. You need to remind them. But you know the, the, the lady I have the, <coughs> the, the, the lady I have this thing, whatever I don't give a damn shit about uh, about this topic. You know, but the, the thing is that I really wanna move on. You know, and maybe. I, Without them, actually, because you know, I, I, I really want to be independent. You know, I don't want to be dependent on my parents anymore. Yeah, but that's, I agree with you. But you can do that and still let them know how you feel. Your feelings, your parents have to respect your feelings. And that just because you 
explain your feelings to them and tell them that you demand that they respect your feelings doesn't mean you're going to be dependent upon them. You just are having a dialogue with your parents. Do you have a dialogue now? Do you guys communicate 100%? No. Having a dialogue with your parents does not mean you're dependent upon them. You're just having a dialogue. If you want to be the mature person, well, a mature person has a dialogue with everybody, especially their parents, unless they choose not to. But it sounds like maybe it would be worth your time just to have a dialogue. And that dialogue might be, you know what, I want to be independent. That could be part of the dialogue. But the first part of the dialogue is, you guys don't listen to me. You don't see me as a, as a kid, but I'm not a kid. But I at least want to be heard and respected. The basics. And then to, and I want to be independent. And I, want to, I am a man, and I'm growing up to be a man, and I'm learning, I'm not perfect. But I also want to be heard. And I also want to be treated as your, your kid, not as your your summer by, you know, your partner to raise these other kids. No, I'm a kid too. So you have to respect me as your son. But also have to respect me as your son and letting me be independent. But at the same time, I am your son and I am a child. And you must be able to see that I am both. It's really important that you tell your parents how they, how they should see you. Because if they're in the middle of a divorce, or they're done with the divorce, but they're in that first year, it's a horrible time for them. They have, they're having trouble, you know, seeing the kids as they want to see them. They're having trouble with the other one. You know, everything's confusing. When they look at the kids, they get reminded of the other one. You know, their heads are spinning all over the place. Make life a little easier for them. Tell them exactly what they're supposed to think when they look at you. I am your child, I will always be your child, you always have to listen to me, but I am independent, I'm a growing man. That's who I am to you. They'll probably give you a hug and say thank you. Because they're probably confused, should we treat him like a child, or should we treat him like a pure adult? Well, if you do either one, then what about all the stuff in the middle that's really important? Nobody wants to miss their childhood. I don't want to go from uh, Blyer to being an old man. All the stuff in the middle is the fun part. Well, you know, I, or would I believe uh, I have actually missed some of the middle part, you know, on, 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 on the road. Okay. I don't know why, but I have this feeling that's not going to work. It's, uh, I don't know why, but I have this feeling that's not going to help the situation. And that feeling will probably be, is probably right. Why not? What, what, do you think, what do you think is going to work? Is it, what do you think? Do you think any discussion with them is going to help, or that's just a waste of time? Well, you know, um, the, because you know, and if I try to discuss with them, it's like more like that. If sometimes instead of listening to me, they they start to blame mm. the, the, each other. You know, and, you know, and, yeah, your mom did that, and your father did that, and all of this. You know, like bullying and being throwing. For them, or, or to, to, uh, between them, you know, and so, hey, you were, you were actually supposed to listen to me, but now you actually use me as a weapon to attack the other one, you know. So, so, so I believe that that's some of the reasons that I, I you know, my mom, she is really emo emotional, you know, each time she has like, this dispute with. The, the huge dispute, she always mentioned, oh, your father did that, and you know, and so, and you know, she, she, she repeats the whole thing all the time, and so you are reminded the, 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 the whole thing which happened again and again, and so, so, 
so so in, in that way I feel like the the best thing to do is actually, actually not talk to them on this specific topic, you know, and just let it be. Is that okay for you? Well, you know, uh, well, I personally believe it's better than, you know, if I take uh, discuss this topic and, and you know, and, and if they, again, both parts, parts are going to use me as a weapon to to, 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 to attack each other. Uh, well, in, instead of that, I'm fine with not talking about this topic at all. Well, you know, and when I first think about it, actually, you're probably the first time person I'm actually telling you this because we have like this path of telling the truth all the time so throughout this course, you know, and I have like this trust built on. And so, so if I I think I believe you're the first one, first person I actually tell you because you know, you know, well, I personally, I hear there are a lot of good things about the Norwegian culture and and all this stuff. But even then, you know, there are like, I feel like people here in Norway are cold-hearted, you know, and you can't actually have this conversation with a lady on the bus or you know. <laughs> You know, and I feel like you know everyone is. I'm your friend. It's like paradise host, you know. And <laughs> I, I, I'm your friend, but at the same time, they're gonna try to use and, and, and take advantage. And so you know, I don't feel like trusting on all the people, you know. So in that way, you know, keeping you, 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 you know, as you said, you know, if you. Look, Deep into in someone's eyes, you actually find the the, the, the layers actually falling, and then you, you and the mask is falling off. You know, and, you know. Actually, I tried it on some people. You know, and they actually when I really looked into your eyes, they 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 moved away, and then I respected it. But you know, so I've been really oops for them. I don't know how you say it. Mm. So, so, so I actually get more information and I feel like the Norwegian cult, the culture is more cold-hearted than I first thought actually. Mm. And that's it's not a good experience at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, like, well, you, know, you don't have to be, but in that way it's, it's so, I, so I know what I have to deal with, what people, you know, is, you know, well, you know, as as you can't say, you know, there are like these spies there who actually try to take mm. a, a adventure of the courses, and it's it's not good. But as I was saying, also in this course, then use those things as to your advantage because you see them. Mm. So instead of being frustrated about them, you think, how can I use this to my advantage? For every frustrating moment, for every negative, there is an advantage in there, a benefit to you. You just gotta see it. It may not be so big, it may be huge. In Norway, there's always advantages, you just gotta be able to see it. Plan of plan of the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, based on negativity. <laughs> I think we should stop this here. Your homework is to watch this video ten times. Thank you. The first three, four times you to watch the video, m m most people say, "Oh, I can't stand hearing my voice. Oh, look what I'm doing with my hands." But that's not the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is to introduce you to you, for you to listen and see who you are. It's not your voice. It's you who you're paying attention to. You know, you said just now how you learn to see people differently. This is what you can do yourself now. You're watching this video to learn about you. Not just the voice. <laughs>